Hello everybody, my name is Master Alphus and welcome to another game of Planetary Annihilation. Today we're playing on a one celestial body system in a six player free for all. Now, the reason why we're kind of not playing with any orbital bodies besides the one that we're currently spawning on is because, I don't know, just uh, switching things up a little bit. I used to always play in these um, one plant systems for a long period of time on my channel and to a lesser extent that's sort of taken a back seat because a lot of people want to see orbital games of planetary annihilation but i feel like a good one planet system you know duel to the death winner takes all type situation would be pretty darn awesome now and again and you know what i like pretty darn awesome stuff so anyway i am gonna go with the vehicle factory then the power plants and then the mechs again and then afterwards an, maybe an air factory and the reason for that is because i want to try and get all the mechs in this little lake over here now, usually I do go two vehicle factories instead of one, but for the purposes of this map, and because I know it won't be as overcrowded as the maps I'm currently playing on, which are kind of these 500 radius planets that have like fixed, uh, five or six players on them, then I know I can have like sort of some leeway in how I expand and how I do things and how I build my base. So, all around, pretty good stuff. Anyway, currently probably hemorrhaging energy a little bit more than usual but that's because I didn't really build the second power plant but don't oh, worry we'll be able to get out that second power plant pretty darn soon as soon as this guy's done with his mechs yep and then afterwards we'll build that other mechs over there and then everything should be dandy all right then so let's expand to that mechs field that terrestrial one right over there we can start getting out the mechs in the lake now, getting mechs in the lake is probably a little bit better than getting them on land because it reduces the amount of enemies you have to deal with when it comes to defending these mechs fields. So that's all around pretty good stuff. Now, since this is a bit of a larger map with less players, that means air might be a little bit more prevalent, which means we should probably get out our second air factory a little bit earlier than usual. However, it definitely will depend on the flow of the game, definitely. Anyway, let's go ahead and get some vehicle factories. But our commander and then you guys can I guess just go ahead and speed up the construction of the vehicle factories actually so you're getting mixes on that area ah finally a new challenger has arrived who would that be ah okay what the hell that's a little bit strange to see the least I mean to say the least um I don't know what the hell is going on I'm curious, but I don't know what the hell is going on. So apparently there's a group of, I think, vehicles outside of my base. And unless, you know, he has some god tier radar, I don't know how he was able to see me. Eh, oh well. Let's go ahead and get some power points on this side. Oh shit. God, there's just no way to build any power points here. The map, the layout of this entire starting location is really wonky. All right, let me go ahead and rally all of my ants over here. We'll get our commander to continue producing me some vehicle factories. Yeah, all the way here. That should be awesome. You lots can go and get me some missile turrets just in case a bomber wants to get stealthy, and we can go get some hummingbirds just to defend us from any air attacks all right then pretty good stuff mix production is wonderful energy production less so but that's usually the case however definitely will get better as time goes on just need to be a little bit patient with our expansion actually we expanded a little bit too far we just don't have the energy to boot Should probably sent our fabricators down south over here and get and got our commander to actually help out in the energy production yeah that would have been a little bit more useful actually instead of you know these fabricators doing it all on their own which they can but it does definitely slow down things because look at this i'm losing a ton of energy so we should probably go ahead but we can continue building vehicle factories here we should probably go ahead and move these fabricators to build energy plants or alternatively we could get the air fabricators to build me energy plants in the water that would be pretty good keep them safe from harm
And also not have to worry about pesky little things like space is probably a really good thing. Uh, this is usually the point where I should have gotten tier 2, but I didn't because of energy reasons, which is a little bit bad. Okay, most of this army is made up of ants and spinners. Not a good sign, but not a bad sign either. We don't have to worry too much about losing the numerical advantage because most of his units won't be able to fire back at us. So that's good. Did lose some hummingbirds to, to do, due to the, some stupid stuff, but you know what? That's okay. It seems like the air fabricator thing actually did pay off quite a bit. So let's just go ahead and continue moving forward. Probably harass some of his stuff. Hmm, let me see. Is there another player here? There is. Interesting. Okay, well, he's going to fuck off though, so that's fine. We'll just go ahead and continue pushing on forward, building more uh, vehicle factories. Let's get a radar here. And I should really try to harass Red. As much as I can. If I go around his turrets over here, I would probably win any engagement against them. Because I think I have the ant advantage. Like right now, my air attacks are kind of relegated to just, I don't know, fabricators actually, since I'm not planning on getting any bombies. Right, right now, my whole air strategy is pretty much just to defend my base against bombie attacks. Whereas he's getting spinners just to defend his base against any bombie attacks. But he doesn't know that I'm not getting bombies, so haha. Okay, energy is good. Production is good. We can now get some much needed tier 2. Come on, destroy the turret. Thank god these turrets are backed up by walls, otherwise we'd probably lose any engagement against them. Okay, currently he's being sent back to the Stone Ages. Look at this metal production harasser. Ooh, look at that. He built a lot more turrets than usual. Well, then I assume... Good god, there are so many turrets here. This power bash has gone very, very well. And now when reinforcements coming in, he just has no way to stop this, I think. Now let's see what green is doing, because last time I checked, he was getting in Astraeus. Alright, friend, you can go ahead and build the bot factory, actually. Wait a minute. Did he leave? Yeah, he left. He definitely left. Must be glitched or something. Oh, the commander's trying to build as many uh, uh, factories as he can. But with 100% efficiency and so many vehicle factories, I doubt he can actually beat my production. But who knows? I've been proven wrong before. Some I remember once that I thought a, a pterodactyl was the same as a pterodactyl. Turns out, no, it isn't. It's a completely different animal. Well, not animal, dinosaur. But whatever. You guys get what I'm trying to say. Oh, that was amazing, Uber Cannon. Just Hadoken my guys to like the fifth century. Ooh, these tokens. Right now, ants aren't really the best thing to micro with, so. I mean, there's really nothing you can do to avoid these uber cannon shots. Unless you're like Gandhi and you can teleport everywhere. But nope. Unfortunately, I'm not Gandhi. Manita's red. So that's good. Alrighty then. Go ahead and get some radar out. And continue building me energy plants. I don't know why you stopped. You can get me bot fabricators. And we should really get some energy storage as well as some metal storage. Alrighty then. 
Where is the rest of the foes of this universe? Actually, no, wait, there's no way for him to get out of this area. Oh my god, I just... Fuck, I forgot all about this map already. There's no other celestial bodies for him to control. So he's pretty much stuck in orbit. So dumb. So dumb. I just... I was talking about that in the beginning of the video, too. So that means, realistically, all you can get are anchors. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get some... Orbital defense, I guess, for the most part. Let's get some radar as well. It's a shame we do not have a lot of mexes to choose from. Oh well. Let's go ahead and move our rally point this way. And once I get the radar out, I will then figure out if I should attack now or later. Actually, you know what? One Avenger is really all we need. So let's go ahead and build that one Avenger. And then take out Green and then expand into his corpse. Come on, energy production. There we go. Now let's go ahead and fix our mech's production. By expanding over here. There we go. Metal storage is getting fixed out. Come on, lassies. Move forward. God damn it. Ants keep getting aggroed. Not attractive at all. Okay, I would like maybe two more advanced fabricators and afterwards call it quits with the advanced fabricators and go into some military units. Alright, come on, radar. Come on. There we go. Okay, so who is around us? Purple. All right, so we'll move our forces around purple. You guys can go over there, and you, you, and you, get me tier 2 metal right away. And as soon as we get, like, what, five or so Avengers will push out? Unless he's a giant idiot, he has to leave right now, otherwise he will die. Wait a minute, hold up. I was gonna expand over here, what am I doing? Eh, oh well. Alrighty then, sheller time! Sheller time! It's sheller time. Oh, but what's your base look like? What does your pretty little base look like? Show me it. Show me it now. Okay, we have four Avengers. Good enough. Hmm. Just now I got tier two. Okay. Come on, away from the anchors. Just a little bit. There's white right over there. Come in by turned on. Is he turned on? I'm not sure. You know who is turned on though? Prince Astraeus. Turned on by death! Blood for the blood god! There we go. Alrighty then, now let's push on over there. Anchors are being destroyed all over the place. It's Wunderbar. And you know what? I'm gonna go expand down south. Let's also get some. T Should we get tier two bots? I think we could actually. Nothing wrong with it. I'd love to continue expanding though. Actually, we should really continue producing vehicle factories. Yeah, right over here. Just because it would be very useful for us to go ahead and keep up our massive amp production. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of space to actually utilize. Well, that's okay. We'll make space. We'll make space! Get some tier 2 um, vehicle factories. If I continue the superb metal production, I should be fine. Energy production pretty much is a-okay. We have enough advanced power plants and enough storage to make it work. We definitely need to increase it later on, so 
Maybe I'll take out like this advanced fabricator and increase it. I'm not sure. I'm gonna go ahead and get some sh shellers because I would like to defeat purple's really tight and closed base. You could probably march in and kill his stuff right now. Let me see if he has anything actually. I'm gonna go ahead and send in all of my hummingbirds. Or not all my hummingbirds, just like four of them. So we'll keep these guys back. You don't really want to lose hummingbirds that much. Yeah, I don't see an army here. I do see white with some forces. I might go ahead and focus on white. It does depend. Okay, do we have some spare fabricators rolling around? Yes, we do, from the bot factory. So let's go ahead and send them forward. All vehicle factories can produce me ants. And now should I move my rally point to the west or to the right? Probably to the right, actually. Yep, to the east. That's what I try to get at. To the west or to the right? Hmm. Master of all from this. Are you sure you're not a tad bit slow? Now, the reason for that is because I see purple's base. It's basically nothing. Basically nothing. Like, I should take him out, but he's also fighting against someone else. So, that does mean that, hey... You know what? The enemy of my enemy is my friend, so I'm going to go ahead and let you fight whoever the hell will be my enemy in the future, and you can just live. It's pretty much how I am with most of my opponents, actually. And it works. Actually, you know what? I would love to get some air factories out over here. Produce some more stuff. Yeah, some bombers and shit like that. So as it stands, we're kind of floating a little bit. Sometimes we float, sometimes we don't. It depends on what thing my fabricators are building at that time. Where's the two fa advanced fabricators? Okay, you go back. One of our regular fabricators will help you out. Because I need some fabricators on power plant duty. Since now I'm just looking at my power and I'm like, oh wait, it is getting a little bit worse as time goes on. Alrighty then, Mental Jin, keep moving forward. You guys can continue building me regular power plants. Now, should I get bumblebees or hummingbirds? God, I don't even know. Like, bumblebees would be amazing if White kind of left his commander all to his lonesome and I can get a really quick commander snipe. Hummingbirds would be awesome for defense, and sometimes defending against air units is a little bit better than attacking with air units. Especially since, like, spinners are a little bit too god tier. It will depend on how big white is. White is the only other player I have to worry about, so... Let's see. Hmm... Didn't really tell me much. Maybe event uh, radar will actually tell me what I need to know. Alrighty then, there we go. Hmm, do we have enough? What the hell are you guys doing? What the hell are you guys doing? Reclaim this area then. Maybe another advanced. I'm well, not another advanced radar, but maybe an advanced radar and another hum, hummingbird sort of a run would actually help us in knowing what White's capabilities are. I guess to a lesser extent or another, we should get bumblebees. We have enough hummingbirds to defend ourselves, maybe. Hopefully, hopefully, maybe we can get half and half. You know, like the lemon juice. And there's white right over there. Yeah, let's push forward and attack white. Right now. Especially since now he's kind of creaming through purple space. And we'll have this factory produce hummingbirds. I mean, is this White's nucleus? It seems like it because he does have power plants over here. Let me just check. Why are my hummingbirds slowing down? What the fuck? I don't know where White's nucleus is. Okay, he does also have hummingbirds. God, I don't know where the nucleus of the space is. My god, it's like super hidden. Ah, a teleporter. Interesting. Let me 
And he's getting tier 2 air. Okay, this is his bait. Just barrel down this area. Right over here. Like, I have no other ways to describe where he is. Just barrel down and go. And let's also continue getting air factories here. This time, these air factories will just produce solely hummingbirds. And will be kind of for the defense of the, the great commander. Where's my advanced radar? It is coming. This is a good. I really need that radar. Argument could be made that maybe I should lift off my commander into outer space. But I don't know about that. Alright, if we do enough economic damage, we're pretty much set for life. Alrighty then, Bone Beast, time for you to make your move. Get away from the Vanguard, Zants. Show me you're useful. Show me! <laughs> Go ahead and reclaim those fabricators, please. Oh god, we need some more metal storage. What am I doing? What am I, what am I doing? Oh. Kill the vanguard, there we go. Now everybody else is an easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, there's a the commander. Alright, push forward. Yo, we have a couple laser platforms. Why don't we just go ahead and use them? Yeah, he really can't defeat us now. This massive army over here is just crippling him. And I don't think he actually knows where my base is. Now let's continue sending in reinforcements. This army was impressive, but I think he just doesn't have enough T1. Yeah, he doesn't have enough T1. And he's building, he's building T1 units out of the advanced vehicle factory. Ooh, that's a big mistake. That is a big mistake, actually. You really shouldn't do that ever. It just stops you from getting those higher tier units. Like vanguards and shellers and all types of good things. Oh, storage goes a long way. Why? Why did I play my games without storage? I will never know. Do I have an orbital deep space radar? I don't. I just realized that. All right, everybody, get me Bumble Base instead of Hummingbirds, because it seems like he stopped his air uh, unit production. Where is his commander, actually? I saw him a second ago. He can't run that fast. God bless. God bless purple. Okay, running. I'll cover your escape, friend. Wait, no. You didn't use the teleporter here, did you? Well, he does have air units, but he's not really doing anything with it. Well, it's gonna be easy peasy, I guess. Alright, come on, Bone Beast. Show me the truth. Show me. Did he use the teleporter to escape with his commander? If he did, that would be actually be pretty cool. Hey, he's a secret agent. Man, oh my god, I thought that was my own. Um, not my own laser platform, but his. Listen, man. Your Eco's dead. Give up, please. Please, you plebeian. 
You won't give up? Fine. Fine. We'll play it your way. God, we have so much metal. We need the storage. We need the storage. Ah! There you are. Hi! How you doing? Hey, you're sending in hummingbirds to help? But I already see you, man. I see you for who you are. I'll just basically encroach upon him. And it's also probably about time we go ahead and send around our forces to deal with purple. Purple, you are dead. Dead like Fred. In the head. Oh boy. That's a Rolfless can rap. Glorious. Alright, come on, White. Let's talk. You and me, man to man. Mono e mono. Would you would you like to buy some car insurance? No? Okay. Oh, good night, purple. Good night, purple senpai. Good night. Oh, so close to shutting off that flat turret. Oh well, it doesn't matter. The beehive! The beehive is here. Hey, Purple, I let you live for a long time. Well, okie dokie then. That was... Eventful, I guess. Phew, the early battles between me and Red were pretty intense, but afterwards it was kind of a raffle fest. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the Chrono Cam and see what happened between White and Purple. And for the most part, White had an incredible economy, but that's because... He had no production whatsoever. He only had like one, two, three, four T1 vehicle factories, four tier two vehicle factories, which you would think is pretty good. But the issue here is that T2 is still very, very costly. So you can't get a lot of stuff. Meanwhile, I had like a ton of production, but not enough resources. Then again, I was fighting against the red and then, you know, trying to do my best to kickstart my economy. And then when I actually kickstarted my economy, I slowly, slowly went out. Definitely, if White had a little bit more production, he would be hemorrhaging a lot more resources, actually. But he did produce a lot more resources. I should have been producing a little bit more. I I slowed down greatly. Granted, at the end of the day, though, look at my army compared to his. Woo! Woo, he even with his tier 2. My god, my guys would crush him because I had so many ants. He didn't have enough levelers to make it work. And I gotta say, why would you get tier 1 units from... A tier 2 factory is just badonkers for me. So anyway, I'm pushing forward, showing his stuff, because I just have too much tier 1 for him to deal with. And that's basically pretty much about it. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.